We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. Shock. Start two large four IVs. Get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning, trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed, a hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out, back to the job, the NYPD. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, pain. It makes no sense. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened, an echo of the past, an old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. When you're waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following the lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne. But it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? 
Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinny Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Was I there again? Wait. Wait just a minute. Talk to me. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then. More than anything, I wanted her. Let's do it! You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. This is what I see when I look back. These moments, blinding the snow, they kill you, change you, you die and live again, remade. No, Mona. Winters! Ben climbing out, you can still fall back down in an instant. You come to, amidst the wreckage of your own making. Do you stay there, eyes squeezed shut, afraid to move, hoping to bleed to death? Or do you crawl out, help your loved ones, make sure the fire doesn't spread, try to fix it? When I had woken up in the hospital earlier tonight, I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer. A cop killer. There are things in life you cannot choose. How you feel. I had lain at the bottom of the hole long enough. Too long. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you. The only true reason why men fight wars, love. The score on Mona Sachs? Next question. Fine. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnitti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. Vlad had lied. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. No, hey, not you! Why does this keep happening to me? Hey, you gotta help me. There's a freaking bomb in here. If I take the head off, it blows. Bye-bye, Vinny. You're a freaking cop. You gotta help me. How did this happen? The Russian tricked me. Join the club. I can help you get him. I can. I swear, you get me out of this and I can help you get him. You've got yourself a deal. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the fun house. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. 
No amount of painkillers would disable it. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. Max. She must have gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead, and she wouldn't have come after me. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards. When you ask, why me? And what if? When you look back, see the branches like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess, and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved to fatal, microscopic distance. I felt the rise of that old, familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. gun when you need one. <laughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. <laughs> Max. Dearest of all my friends, I was supposed to be the hero. We are willing to suffer, to die for the things we care about, for love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. 
You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. All this time, we got the fable of Sleeping Beauty wrong. The prince didn't kiss her to wake her up. No one who slept for a hundred years is likely to wake up. It was the other way around. He kisses her to wake himself up from the nightmare that has brought him there. Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right.